bunch of gamers, one channel, and tons of games. This must be Games and Me. We are the Pixel and Polygon Protection Group, Episode 4 for May 12, 2009. Cowbell Hero. Hey guys, we are the Pixel and Polygon Protection Group. This is Episode 4 for May 12th. So, with me, of course, is Magus. So, how's it going, man? How's it going? It's going, dude. Uh, just chilling. What about you? I just got home from work. We actually, like, went to, like, a Laker game last night where, you know, like, all of my office mates and stuff, like, we were celebrating how we made a lot of money, like, in the first quarter. Great, you know, we all did a great job. So, our boss said, hey, you know what? We're all piling into a limo and go and watch the Laker playoff game tomorrow. And I was like, yes. So, that was pretty you, sweet. You lucky bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm not a big, like, basketball fan anyway. So, I mean, you know, I'm not a big sports sports guy. So, you know, these kinds of things are, you know, are a treat, especially since, you know, I don't follow it, you know? That's cool. Well, I'm a I'm not I'm not into any sports except for basketball. I've always been I mean, I'll follow it. I love watching it. That's another interest that I have that a lot of people don't know, you know, aside from video games and anime. I like have all these geek interests and I'm like, I watch the NBA. <laughs> I like meta anime. Oh, and I also like NBA basketball. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, "What? You like sports? You're a jock?" <laughs> I don't know, Magus. People might start calling you a jock now. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Well, I well, I can see like you know a little bit of on the paintball because I could I got interest in paintball because of video games playing Ghost Recon, but that's a whole other story. So yeah, so let me ask you this, Maggie. So what you've been playing, man? Well, um, let's see, Super Columbine R Massacre RPG, but we'll talk about that in its own segment. So okay, that's, yeah, oh, that's that's what you're gonna rant about today, right? Kind of rant. It's it's. I don't know what to call it, but yeah, I guess you could call it a sort of rant on it. Um, okay. But what I've really been playing, I just the usual stuff, but two games that I have played that are new to me are uh, I played, I got Resistance Retribution on the PSP. And I have to say, I'm really, the PSP with that game and God of War on a graphical level are very impressive. They are. They really are. And I'm like really surprised too that, you know, like Retribution, like, you know, from what I saw of it early on, like last year, like I was like, wow, they can potentially make like an RE side story with, you know, the PSP graphics, you know, because that's kind of like what they were trying to do with Retribution, right? Kind of like yeah. third person shooter type thing. Yup. And God of War looked amazing too. God of War Chains of Olympus, which I which I played, uh, which I got last year and completed a couple times last year, which is a great game. And it just graphically, it felt like a God of War. It felt like the same, you know, God of War on the PlayStation 2, just portable. And Retribution, I, I have played and beaten the first Resistance, okay? But right. it is a different game. It's more of a, it's more, it's a third person cover shooter. Yeah. And it's cool. The thing is, is the control scheme is some, is very, very, odd and it takes a little bit you getting used to because it proves that one thing if the PSP is going to do more type of these games it needs a second analog stick yeah because it it doesn't work bad though because what you do with it is you use the R button to uh to fire you use the analog stick to move you use the uh the control pad to switch weapons and things like that hmm and then to aim and look around, you use triangle, square, X, and circle. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that because I'm like, that's kind of like, you know, we're we're, we're gone, we're past that point, you know, from the N64 era, you know, like the C up, left, right, yep. down, and stuff. It's like, you know, come on, Sony, we need like the second analog stick. Seriously, <laughs> you're gonna force us into like using the face buttons to like shoot? Jesus. Christ. It's a clunky. It seems clunky at first, but once you, it's like Resident Evil One controls. You get used to it. But I still will agree 100% with you. 
we need a second analog on it if you're gonna pull yeah. off these type of games though. But it's yeah. still it wor it's not bad, not knocking on it by any way. It works, but if you're gonna make a sequel, make a PSP model with a second analog stick. Well, the way that I saw it, like you know, if I were designing that game, like I mean, I was talking to one of our subscribers as well, and you know, because he also was playing through the game, and he actually really enjoys it as well. But my whole thing with it was like, if it's a cover shooter, there's a lot of ways where you can kind of really make it a lot interesting as a cover shooter. Like, you know, like the way that, and not to, again, not to take too much time on this, but in Resident Evil 1, the reason why they made it so that they forced you to hold like a shoulder button in order to shoot was to kind of change the actual left stick controls or, you know, digital pad controls so that you know, the game knows, okay, you want to shoot now, okay, you want to move now type of deal, you know, because that would, you know, for a third-person shooter, that would actually lend itself to that, I believe. I mean, the only bad thing is that you won't be able to move, but hey, that's why that control scheme was kind of created originally. Right, right, and and back then, you know, we didn't have very many 3D games like that on consoles yet, you know, because uh, exactly. Resident Evil, Re I mean, the PlayStation was probably the the well, let's see. Um, trying to think. The Saturn came out, did come out before the PlayStation here in the states. Yes. But I don't think it had real. Well, maybe the date. Well, not really racing. But I think you know back then, you know when Resident Evil came out, and then you had all these games that followed. You know, because '96 was I think the year that defined what 3D. Cause you had Mario 64 and Knights, and that's right. what the and it was primitive back then. But with with Resistance though, again with that control scheme. It's not bad, but the way the game is constructed is, it's it's pretty awesome though. Aside from that, you know, okay. it it's it's got nice production values. I mean, you see stuff that you would see in like a play 360 or PlayStation 3 game with like you know a giant gun blasting in the background and stuff, cool stuff like that. That's awesome. Anything else you're playing other than that though? Um, yes, and the other game is like Henry's Hat Works, one of those strange puzzle mutant creatures. <laughs> So, Wait, which one? Well, you know how we've seen all these puzzle hybrids, like Henry Hatworth. I've been playing Puzzle Quest, the original. Oh, the original Puzzle Quest. Okay, I was like, what? <laughs> I mean, I call them puzzle hybrid mutants. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? What are you talking about? I'm like, I never and, heard of that game. <laughs> and okay, so are yes, are you liking it? Are you not liking it? I'm liking it a lot. Um, it works as an RPG. It just works. I might have liked some – maybe a little bit of maybe some animations, you know, because right. I've seen other puzzle games with animation like Puzzle Fighter and shit. Yeah. But, but, we're, but you know, aside from that, that's maybe the only complaint because all you see is like a picture of your night guy, and then you see a picture of an orc, and then, you know, you just puzzle. Is I mean, it would have – Is this from Xbox Live, or is it like a cart or, you know? Um, There's like – there's a ton of versions of this of the original but what, puzzle. But which one did you buy? That's what I'm asking. The Xbox Live Arcade. Okay. Yeah, because the because the version that I got and it only contained Chapter One of Puzzle Quest was actually on the iPhone. They charged eight bucks for it, and I was like, oh my god, if they're gonna charge me another eight bucks for Chapter Two, I'll be pissed. But you know what? They actually updated my version of the game so that I have both Chapter One and Two. So it's looking like what they're going to do for the iPhone version is they they're, they're going to put all the chapters into one huge file and for like 8 bucks. The Xbox Live Arcade version was only 800 points. And it seems to be a very lengthy game because there's tons of uh there are just tons of like little missions you could go on quests and stuff. And w one thing I like about the game is the story is it's, you know, a, a fantasy story, you know, yeah. dead creatures are popping up. But it seems like, you know, you get companions. You're like, I got this one companion named the Dark Hunter, and he seems to have a mysterious past. So, I mean, it may not be the most original, but it gives you – it's interesting enough to still play it, though. I see. And and yeah. that's cool for a puzzle game. <laughs> yeah, I haven't gotten too far in the game, I'll be honest. Dude. I mean, I, I was like, okay, I killed a skeleton, great. But it took me like maybe 10 or 15 minutes. I don't think I want to spend too much time on one battle. Which is, 
ironically, one of the reasons why I never got into like turn-based strategy on the consoles because I I felt like I was kind of wasting a lot of my time just fighting one battle. Like a, a good example of it was like the second fight that you had in like Final Fantasy Tactics it took me like like twenty minutes to finish. I'm like, oh dear God, are you kidding me? <laughs> you I know. Final Fantasy Tactics, I I love that game, but it is time consuming though. And I beat we beat it about a year ago on the PSP. And what's crazy about that game is uh it is it is it is a very complex game. And yes, uh, I think it, on this game it depends on the battle because I've had a couple battles that don't last that long. But then I've had a couple battles that last forever. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, let's see. What 